Hello, my name is Mr. Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. This is a unit tutorial on a program called the Blender, which is a 3D animation program. This is primarily designed for the students in my class. However, if you're new to the Blender, you've never used it before, you may find this introductory set of Blender tutorials useful. Okay, so when you open up the Blender, this is what you see. The first thing you, that we want to do is you can hold down the middle mouse button and you can rotate around the cube in three-dimensional space. So you might want to stop this video right now, open up Blender, and rotate the cube in three-dimensional space. That's the first exercise. The second thing you can do is if you ever get lost um, in the Blender, you can always reset to the default interface by going to File, New, Erase All. And if you click File, New, Erase All, you get a brand new interface just like you did when you opened up the program. Okay, so we're going to rotate around by using the middle mouse button and we're going to talk about a shortcut key. This shortcut key is the G key. So I can click the G key and I can grab an object and move it around. So I'm going to grab the object, I'm going to move it, I'm going to rotate a little bit, I'm going to grab the object and I'm going to move it again. I'm going to get it right where I want it. You can see I accidentally uh, kicked it over to the 3D desktop there. Okay, so the G key in conjunction with the middle mouse click allows you to move an object in three-dimensional space. The next button I want to talk about, shortcut key, is the R key. If you click the R key, it will rotate an object. You can click the R key and you can follow it up with the Y key, which allows you to rotate around the Y axis or you could just hit the X key and it will rotate around the X axis or you could hit the Z key and you will see that the rotation plane changes. Now one of the nice things about the blender is if you ever make a move and you think oops I don't want to do that you can always right mouse click and the object will go back to its, the position it was in before you started moving it. So right now I'm going to click the right mouse button and the object's going to go back to where it was before I started moving it. So I've just covered two concepts there, the G key and the R key. The final concept I'm going to cover in this tutorial is the S key. If you hit the S key, you can scale an object up and down. You might want to stop the video and just hit the S key and scale it up and down. So three things that I need you to be familiar with are these. You can grab an object with the G key. You can rotate it with the R key and you can scale it with the S key. You can always select an object by right clicking on it. You see I just changed over to that lamp, that circular object up there. There it is. And now if I want to reselect the cube, I can right click on it. So selecting objects is done by right clicking. Okay, so those are the three objects for this tutorial, the R key, the S key, and the G key. Thank you very much. 